Lesson 1. The importance of icons. Hi everyone and welcome to this course about flat icon. In this course we are going to talk about icons and how they became super popular for any business or organization. Icons are now everywhere. You will find them on your smartphone as the app icon of course but also the navigation menu of your phone. You will find them on almost any website to present a block of information visually. And you will find them on print material like posters, brochures, documents or product packaging. So because it became a trend, we figured we would create a course about icons so that you can learn where to find them and how to use them effectively to strengthen your brand. The goal is to help you create a more consistent brand identity through the use of icons. All right, so first let me present to you the table of content of this course so that you will have a better idea of what you will learn with us. In this first lesson, we will go over the importance of using icons for your business or organization. Why did they become so popular and why people use and love them so much? In the second lesson, we will explain how to find these icons. We understand that not all of us are designers, so instead of creating the icons from scratch, we will use already made icons that we will find in a giant icon library called Flat Icon. In the third lesson, we will teach you how to stay consistent with your icons by using icon packs. We will show you how to search for packs instead of individual icons and what you can do with these packs. In the fourth lesson, we will explore a new feature on Flat Icon that lets you create fun patterns to brighten up your visual branding. In the fifth lesson, we will show you how to easily customize your icons so that they match your brand identity. That means adapting their colors to be consistent with your company's color palette. We will also show you how to download the icons in different formats. In lesson six, we will explain the differences between using the free version of Flat Icon versus paying to have a premium account. And finally, in lesson seven, we will tell you all about the most amazing feature on Flat Icon, the possibility to create your own collections of icons. So let's dive right in and talk about why icons have become such an important part of visual design nowadays. The current trend for icons is still flat design. Flat design has been introduced by Apple in 2013 with an iOS update. Overnight, they had replaced all the textured or 3D types of icons in their operating system by more minimalistic and flat designs. This basically started the flat design trend back in 2013, which still dominates today with some nuances. One of the reasons why icons have become so predominant in visual design is probably the fact that we are living in an age of content overload. Because there is so much content out there, on all sorts of platforms, we are naturally paying less attention to the information we are exposed to. Icons, by being simple, colorful and attractive, have as primary objective to get people's attention and communicate a message visually and rapidly. If you think about app icons, for example, their role is really to help you form a positive first impression about the app itself. It is usually the first experience a user will have with the app. It's the first thing they will see about the app in the App Store or on Google Play. Another consequence of this age of content overload is that people give more importance to visual content than to written content. Usually people don't want to think too much. They don't want to read too much. That is why video is so popular. And in the same logic, it is why icons also perform very well. They help a user easily digest a piece of information by creating a visual representation of the main concept or idea. Good icons should be simple. To achieve this simplicity, usually the best thing is to choose an icon that is minimalistic. As much as possible, get rid of all the details that make them too complicated. As a matter of fact, icons should be recognizable as a 16 by 16 pixel favicon on a low resolution display. The best icons are minimalistic and clear so that they can be understood directly. For the purpose of this course, we will use the website flaticon.com, which is the largest database of free icons available on the internet as of today. We will show you tips on how to best use that database to generate the icons you need for your business. 